So objective of uh, the today lecture is to calculate the interplanar separations. That means spacing between the interplane and uh, their ratio between the successive lattice planes. So these are the planes in this case, and we are going to calculate and show the relationship between each plane with the other plane as we will get the data from the XRD pattern. So this is uh, more about the uh, Miller indices which you have learned in the previous lecture. And uh, here are the separations uh, between two successive planes of the cubic, tetragonal and orthorhombic. And we will only discuss in detail a cubic system uh, for your syllabus. And uh, this uh, one common thing in these three system is the edges are mutually perpendicular because uh, the angle between the uh, alpha, beta, and the gamma as the angle between uh, opposite to the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis is 90. That means all the uh, edges are perpendicular to the each other. And in the cubic, the three uh, length, that means the intercept at the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis are same. But in the tetragonal, A and B is the same, but it, it should not be equal to the C but the angle between alpha, beta, and the gamma is the 90, and that's why these are the perpendicular to each other. And uh, similar to the simple cubic and the tetragonal orthorhombic uh, is also having a 90 degree angle between the edges. So the edges are mutually perpendicular to each other, but in this case, a is not equal to B, B is not equal to C. All the three intercepts along the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis not equal to each other. So let's move to the further. This is uh, uh, another uh, formula we are going to use over here because one uh, the one form of the formula to calculate the interplanar distance uh, is the Bragg equation. You have already uh, studied this uh, Bragg's law in one of the previous lecture and the equation which can be used to calculate the interplanar separation or the interplanar distance. And this is another way by using the HKL values by using the Miller indices, you can also calculate the interplanar distance. That's why it is written over here. This is a DHKL. You are using the Miller indices in this case to calculate the interplanar distance. And one another important thing is we will only use a cubic system. And later on, we will discuss what are the ratios between the successive latest planes. So let's start first with the general equation. So for the three-dimensional form of the Pythagorean theorem gives the following expression. This is the mathematical expression, one over d squared. D is the uh, separation between two successive planes. And uh, these are the uh, HKL are the Miller indices and ABC are the intercepts along the X, Y, and the Z axis. When you take inverse of this one, one over this, and uh, this will uh, will become uh, d square hkl. And when you take the under root, under root d square is cancelled out, and what is left? This is the d hkl, and it is minus under root is given over here. So this will remain the same, and you are just taking the minus under root, and at the end we will take the inverse of this one. So for the cubic system, because this one is the one of the easiest system to calculate the interplanar system, interplanar separations 
or the spacing between the planes because the three intercepts along the x, y, and the z are equal to each other. So this would be the equation I am using by using the mathematical expression. So when a is equal to b and b equal to c, that means a equal to b, b equal to c, a equal to a equal to a, all these are equal to each other. So that means here you can also put a square, k square over a square, and L square over A square. So it is mistakenly written over here. This the, originally this is the C square, but for the cubic system, the three are equal to each other. So these are the A square, A square, and A square. When you take the LCM, so LCM would be the A square, A square, A square cancel out what is left. This is the H square and similar to the K square and the L square. And this is coming from the formula minus under root and here is the unit cell edge length, or you may say the intercept along the x-axis, uh, and it would be the same along the y-axis and the z-axis. Now you can inverse of this one because this is the minus, and you can reverse this equation. This would be the a square is cancelled out with the under root, and a is left, and this would be the same as given over here. This would be in the uh, denominator and uh, having the under root one over two. So actually this is the final form of the equation. Another form to calculate the uh, interplanar separation. And uh, later on we will compare all these values and uh, we will get some sort of the benefit out of the comparing this interplanar separation with the interplanar separation calculator from the Bragg equation because when these both equal to each other this is the HKL value you can also calculate out of the this equation so this is the importance of this equation it is a very simple equation actually the original equation is this I am just going to rearrange and uh, moving towards this equation because <clears throat> we are considering the uh, cubic system so in this case, we will only use this equation. So let's uh, start with the, the calculation. And uh, here you, uh, uh, you, are, uh, you know that, and we have also uh, discussed in one of the uh, previous lecture at the start of the, uh, this solid state chemistry. So there are three kinds of the cubic unit cell. One is the primitive cubic, and second one is the body cubic, and third one is the face centered cubic. So these are the three pictures are given for the primitive. Or we may also say this is a simple cubic system, and this is the body centered, and this is the face centered cubic. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to calculate the interplanar separation uh, of a simple cubic and the body center and the face center cubic system. So let's start with the, the first one. And uh, this is the simple or the primitive cubic lattice. And this is shown over here. And in this case, each uh, uh, the metal has an atom at of its each eight corners and there are eight corners one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight corners where it is uh, each matter is shared with the seven neighboring cubes that come together at the same point so as a result only one by eight of each of the corner belongs to a given cubic unit so this is the, the data. Actually, this is important because we will use this XRT pattern. We, you will get this data from the XRD or X-ray diffractometer. And uh, this is the, uh, actually the sine theta is given over here. And these are the HKL values. Uh, or you may say these are the Miller indices and now we will use the previous equation to calculate the interplanar separation 
or the uh, and then the ratio between different planes right what is the the ratio of the separation of uh, this phase with the, this phase so all these are the different phase uh, in the uh, cubic simple or the primitive cubic lattice so i am now using the first kind of the cubic system that is the simple primitive cubic lattice and uh, i am going to use one of the plane and first plane is called the 100 and it is given over here so i will take just the first three as an example and uh, as an exercise you can do rest of the calculation and you can compare the separation between any of the planes in a similar way which i am going to explain to you over here so let start with the 100 plane so what does it mean 100 that mean uh, this is uh, uh, because this is the h this is a k this is a a and uh, you have learned in detail how to get all these miller indices uh, in one of the lecture and here just i'm going to little bit explain this one is that mean uh, this uh, is going to uh, cut on the x axis and zero mean this is uh, y and z uh, uh, are parallel to the plane is parallel to the y and the z axis that mean it would cut at the infinity so when it uh, cut at the infinity or 1 over infinity would be equal to 0 this is the way uh, you will get the hkl values and if you need further information so please um, do watch the video again in which we uh, actually explain in detail how to calculate the miller indices so here this is the uh, simple uh, or the primitive cubic lattice and this is the plane this is called the d100 and this is another d100 it may similarly go further so i am going to use the same formula this we have uh, uh, actually expressed <coughs> or explained in the previous slide so interplanar separation by using the hkl value is is equal to a over h square plus k square plus l square under root so i am <clears throat> going to put the values of h and here the plane is the uh, 100 100 so that mean h is 1 and uh, k is 0 and l is 0 so I <clears throat> sorry so you just put the value of the h k and l in this equation so this would be 1 square 0 square and 0 square under root so this will be 1 over uh, a over 1 square and 1 square under root is cancel out so 1 a over 1 that mean d 1 0 is having the interplanar separation is a so this a is actually the intercept along the x axis so if you know the value of the intercept you just put the value over here and get the interplanar separation and the separation is given over here so this is very interesting that in a crystal now you are going to calculate what would be the interplanar separation how one plane how much the distance between one plane to another plane and this is only the plane 1 0 which is having the intercept uh, along x y and z this is called the 1 0 so let uh, have a look another uh, plane this plane is also belong to the simple primitive cubic lattice so now we are going to consider this plane this plane is called the 1 1 0 plane and uh, again where i have got this one this is the 100 plane and this is the data taken from the xrd so x ray is going to give you what type of the plane is there 110 so i am going to use 110 to calculate the interplanar separation so here 110 mean now a 110 plane 
uh, which is in the uh, shaded. This is the plane, one plane that is all separated. This the similar plane with the another one one zero plane. It will cut across the x axis because and the y axis because uh, this plane is having the intercept one and uh, one along the x and y axis but it will cut at infinity at the z axis because of having the value of the zero so in this is the d110 uh, again the formula will remain the same now the value of the hkl r h is 1 k is 1 and z is 0 so you just put these value in this equation this would be the a over 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square under root whole under root and 1 square plus 1 square under root 1 plus 1 is the 2 so it will be the 2 under root so you may use under root or you may also express with the 1 over 2 so interplane separation in case of the 110 plane is a over under root 2 and in a simple a similar way you if you know the value of the a that means the intercept along the x axis you just put the value over here this will remain the constant you will get the value of the 110 plane and this is the the interplane separation of the plane 110 how one plane is separated with another plane of the 110 so moving to the third example of the simple or the primitive cubic lattice and in this case we are going to consider the plane 111 and again this is the XRD pattern. I am going to use this plane. Just as a reference, you may use any of the plane by using the same example. So <clears throat> this is the now uh, the shaded uh, uh, planes are given over here, and these uh, plane are the one 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 plane. That means this plane is going to cut across the x y and the z axis as well so now this e equation will remain the same and again you have to calculate uh, and you must know the value of the hkl and this these are given in the plane and uh, here h is one k is one and l is one and when we put the value over here this would be one square plus one square plus one square under root and this will remain the one plus one plus one that means three three under root would be the uh, answer of this one and uh, uh, in a similar way if you know the value of the uh, a, a over here so just put the value and get the final answer of this one so this is the interplanar separation of the plane. We call it the 111. Now the final uh, and the last one slide is the ratio of the separation between the successive planes. And here we have discussed the three planes, 100, 110, and 111 lattice planes. And uh, must remember these are the plane of the simple or the primitive cubic lattice. So ratio mean, now you are going to compare the, the distance between or the separation between one plane with another plane. So that means what is the ratio between these three planes? So this is a D100, D111, D1, sorry, D110, D111. And these are the value you have already calculated in the previous slide. So the value for the D100 is A, D110 is A by 2 under root, and D11 is A by 3 under root. So the ratio, if you can take the A, the value of A is 1 as an example, 
So what would be the ratio? This would be the A, this uh, one, this would be the one over under root two, and this would be the one over under root three. And maybe you can just uh, reverse this whole equation to take into the common uh, values. This is also good. And this in this way, you can also express, but you have to mention these are the inverse of the planes of the D100, D110, or the D111. And when you take one over this, one over this, one over this, just this will become reverse of this one. So this is the interplanar separation between three planes of a cubic system and the cubic system over here uh, is the only the primitive or the simple cubic lattice. So this is all about our today lecture.